So first of all, the radar, we've got the electric motors, we've got the friction wheel brakes, the pedal cluster, the actual brake control system, and a rear electric motor. And of course, the front camera. So the pedal itself is like any normal brake pedal, and it's talking to this brake control unit here. So here we've got the pedal and the main brake, brake cylinder, which is sometimes called the master cylinder. We've got some pressure sensors and the travel sensor this time. And then we bleed off our fluid to a simulation unit, which gives us brake feel. So when you press the pedal, the, the fluid will flow into the simulator and trick the driver into thinking they're pushing the actual brakes. The travel sensor will measure how far you've pushed your pedal and communicate that to the brake control unit. This is then converted into a braking request in newton meters. That request is sent across to the drive control unit, which is responsible for controlling the electric motors, and it will ask the motors to operate in a braking scenario where they take power from the vehicle and charge the battery. If in an emergency situation you press the pedal even further, the brake control unit will tell an actuator to physically actuate the friction brakes. Maybe you've noticed that the, at the back of the master cylinder, there is a pipe which connects the master cylinder directly to the control valves, which of course uh, allow fluid to get to the friction brakes. So in the event that the system fails in any way, the driver is actually able to push fluid uh, with the plunger into the control valves. 